so I have the Hisense Vida Smart TV here and I'll be showing you how to set it up for the first time. So when you switch on your TV for the first time, this is what you're going to see. So here you can choose language. Now there's a high chance there's going to be also a voice guide talking to you. If you want to, you can turn that volume all the way down. Okay, just use your remote, turn the volume all the way down and then choose your language. So I'll choose English, for instance. And then it wants us to either set up on mobile or set up on TV. Now I'll just go ahead and set up on mobile and press start. And then you can connect to your Wi-Fi network. So I'll select my Wi-Fi, put in my Wi-Fi password. Of course, I'll type using the remote control, shift for caps and so on and so forth. So just type in your password then go ahead and press OK and it should connect to your Wi-Fi network. And then go ahead and choose your location from all these options you have here. Mine is selected properly, it's Kenya, so I'll press OK. And then you have this uh, data sharing, privacy and EULA. So you have to acknowledge each of these uh, individually or you can select all, okay? Now the best thing to do is to accept these two and then scroll down and skip. And then confirm you want to decline because you don't want to accept everything. And then you have Apple AirPlay and HomeKit are available. Do you want to set up now? I'll just uh, set up later, so I'll select cancel. And there you go, it's as simple as that. We are now inside our Vida, uh, I mean Hisense Vida Smart TV. So at the top here we have the search function, you have the inputs change where you can change different inputs, settings, notifications, video account, all that stuff. Okay, and then you have your apps here and you can go all the way to the end to see more apps and even go to the store Now, once you set up your TV for the first time, you want to go to settings at the top there. So from the home screen, just go to settings and then scroll down to support and then go to system update and then check for updates. And you want to make sure you're running the latest firmware so that you have all the features available to you. So let's check for an available update there's none as you can see you also want to leave auto update enabled so that you have at least uh, when there's an available update you can it can just install straight away thanks for watching comments and questions down below and good luck